How's it going lads, Phil Potter here. Welcome to the sixth episode of Road to a Better Bollocks FC. Now as you can see, we just picked up Molo there as backup for Griezmann, but a lot of people have been saying maybe I should get second in form Griezmann. Now I'll see what I can do in the next few days. Uh, but yeah, leave me give, me, give me some time there. But anyway, before we dip our ging gang ghoulies into today's episode, if you're looking for some extremely cheap ultimate team coins, PSN codes, Microsoft points, any of that good stuff, then make sure you check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Their link will be in the description. And if you use the discount code Phil, you get a further 5% off as a chat which is absolutely deadly as well but look at the state of this goal we can see it of course there's a cross and a header you know absolute bollocks of a goal you know but straight from tip Haram Ben Arfa shows that he is a French wizard he goes hang on give me the ball I'm the French wizard uh, that's exactly how he sounds as well but it's time to introduce Carl Pilkington bullshit bullshit is right what an absolute heap of shite goal that was and look what this Irish bollock says to me hi all your shitty shows got you nowhere Hey, all your shitty skills got you nowhere. Piss off. You want a typical Irish wanker. <laughs> uh, but look, I'm all, absolutely all over him. His goals are crap. Uh, so it kind of pissed me off a little bit. I was like, right, come on, lads. We can do it. I, get, I whipped out the oranges at half time as, as per usual. And the lads, you know, really stepped up here. I'm lucky not to score there with Ben Arfa. Uh, it was uh, two good efforts. But look at my shitty skills. They're getting me absolutely nowhere here. Look. <laughs> I was delighted with that when I scored that. And I, you know, I cut off the celebration there, but I did the I can't hear you. And I'll do it again later, and I'll, you will see that. But Paulinho gets sent off here as well, with about half an hour to go. So I was delighted with that. Ben Arfa breaks through. Lovely little finish. A little bit lucky before that, but I was delighted with that. And there's my little I can't hear you finish. But it's time to introduce that man, Dikembe Mutombo. Not in my heart. <laughs> that is right. Well, thank you very much, Dikembe. Now, this annoyed me uh, you know what's coming a header uh, <laughs> yeah what can I what can I say I, I, I was so annoyed with that you know because I was all over this lad this guy did not deserve to score three goals against me and then look at this Oh, God, I could not score in a barrel of paddies as you see right there on your screen but if that's it it finished three all and let, let me just tell you, that is the beginning of a very, very action-packed episode, okay? Now, as you can see, look at the stats here. There's no way I deserve to be 3-0 th with this guy at the end of the game. There are times when I put my hands up and go, well, you know what, fair play, he was a good player. That is not one of those times. That Irish lad was a wanker. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, I got that off my chest. Now, the next team we come up against is a full-on Bundesliga side, and I was shitting myself a little bit. Uh, because I hate playing these teams, you know, as we all do, you know. But lovely work here from Ben Arf and a great save from Manu, Manu Neuer. Now look at that for a pass. I was kind of contemplating putting Carl Pilkington in here for that, but he, he he makes enough appearances in this episode. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Uh, but as you can see, it's even enough at half time. He obviously the goal, the pass just for that goal is just absolute bollocks, you know. But some lovely work here. Antoine Griezmann is the one, is the one who's like really keeping this team holding us together at the moment, you know. And a lovely little finish from the main man himself. And straight from tip, he runs down the wing, crosses in, and scores a header. Oh my god, I swear to god, sometimes this game, uh, I'm finding it a lot more frustrating on the uh, next gen than I was on PS3, I must say, but lovely work from Ben Arfa, and it is time to introduce Carl Pilkinson here, wait till you have a look at this. <clears throat> Bullshit. 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 <laughs> As you can tell, I was quite frustrated. Even editing this, watching this back, I said, you know, I'm going to throw in loads of bullshit here because the way the ball kept bouncing to him was absolutely ridiculous. And we lose that game 3-2. This is getting... Oh my god, this is not a great episode, let me tell you. <laughs> it's full of goals, uh, but a bit, bit dodgy. The next team you come up against here is a 4-2-3-1 team. Rooney, Eto, Shirla, Jesus Navas. There's a lot of pace in there, it has to be said. But some lovely work here, and look at this pass from Ben Arfa. You just need, basically what I've found out, all you need to do to win is do over the top balls, because defenders are rubbish. So uh, maybe to get myself back on track, I should start abusing that a little bit more. But look at this absolute bollocks pass. Uh, the way you found Eto for that, that is just... My mind is blowing here, you know. And then obviously uh, my defending was crap. You'll see how bad my defending is in this episode. I, I, I cannot... I haven't adjusted it well yet, you know. But we got a little bit lucky here. I don't know what your man was doing with David Luiz. And we, we make it 2-1. So we go in half time and go up. He's had one shot. I've been all over him. Yeah, so basically I've been feeling pretty confident now. If that had gone in, I would have spunked me pants, <laughs> as I'm sure all of you would have too as well. But look at this. Obviously, the over-the-top ball killed me, but 
Jesus, that would have been a good finish. We were lucky to get that away, you know. We should have had Dikembe in there as well. Jesus, I'm getting lazy. But here is an example of how bad my defending is here. Look at this. Oh, my God, what was that? And then he just blasted near post. And that I just went, oh, my God, it's going to happen again. I can't believe it. But some lovely work here from Ben Arfie. Breaks through outside the boot. Why is he doing outside the boot there? There's absolutely no need. But it's time to introduce Martin Tyler. Sweaty time. Oh my Jesus Christ, <laughs> how, how did I not score that with Ben Arf? I should have taken a touch or something, but yeah, the game finishes 2-all, and as you can see from the full-time stats, I deserve to draw 2-all. Bullshit, no I did not. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you right now, I'm sweating doing this commentary, it just, it's frustrating me so much watching this back, uh, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying me, me being a frustrated big Irish bollocks. But anyway, we go into the next game, and we're playing another 4-2-3-1 Premier League side, but look at that finish from Dembele, what? What a super goal. Now he's using a black football. Why people use black balls in FIFA, I've absolutely no idea. When the ball goes into the shadows, I can't see it. It's ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, we go 2 0 down pretty early on. Somehow Kagwa has a screamer of a shot on him, but uh, the ball cleared off the line there. It just wasn't our day, you know. This was getting very frustrating. I pulled out half of my hair. Uh, but anyway, you know, it goes from bad to worse here. Have a look at this now. My defending, once again, what was I doing with the defender there? I've no idea. Gifting them goals. It's 3 0. And we do break through here at Molo, but it's a super save from his goalkeeper, as you can see. Well, it's not super, it's just a crap shot. But uh, we f flukily, I'm not sure if that's a word, we find a way through anyway, and we hit the post, of course. And then just before half time, we do get a we do get a little goal to give us a like a shining glimmer of hope. But, uh, you know, it was an absolute screamer, to be fair. <laughs> no, it wasn't. As you can see, with more possession, he's edging it in chances, but like... That's bullshit. No, it's not bullshit, really. He was, he's a good, he was a good player, you know. But look at this. There was not fuck all happened in the second half, pretty much. As you can see, I have more, more possession. He, we have the exact same amount of chances, except he's just more clinical. So I decided I'm going to buy myself some scum. So I bought Flamini. Uh, basically, he's a, he's a good tackler, tough tackler. He's got high defensive work rate. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, I'm conceding way too many goals. So I bought Flamini to, to try and help break up the play a little bit. I've also bought a Portsmouth jersey. So it, also, mate, it looks a little bit more French, you know. But look at this seven minutes into the game and Aguero scores the screamer 18 minutes into the game and look at this for a goal Jesus Christ that's where I was on his bad foot it just seemed to glide into the top corner I couldn't do anything about it look how bad my defending is here I knew he was going to do that like it's so obvious he was going to cut in there but what can, what can, what can I say I'm crap <laughs> and it's 4-0 before half time this is the worst episode of Bollocks for FC or whatever I call the fucking thing uh, it's the worst episode ever and we hit the post just before half time so there's no shine and glimmer of hope or anything he's had six shots scored four I've had five shots got, only got one on target so I'm obviously not very clinical but some lovely work here from Antoine Griezmann lovely little flick fucking hell heel chop and then a super save I should have scored that that should have been 4-1 but we really start piling on the pressure a little bit here you know and I, I, I still have belief I, I have confidence in my game here you know uh, and we do get a goal back but that doesn't last very long because he passed out the hazard. I know he's going to cut onto his right foot, but I still just didn't do anything about it. And obviously, it's the super finish. Nothing I could do about that. Once again, we break through a Ben Arfa here. He gets a lovely goal as well. What? This is an absolute crazy game. And look at this ball from Kabai. Finds Henri. Oh my God almighty. But that's not it. We, we do get another goal. So it's 5-3. But unfortunately, we cannot get a proper comeback. And it finishes 5-3. So this is the worst episode of Roto Better Box I've ever done in my life. I don't think I've gone an episode out winning, win, win, sorry, winning one game ever. I think that, that's a first. But I do hope you enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed watching back because it's just mental. It's just a crazy bit of stuff going on. But I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do leave a like. It helps me out so much. I just hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good one, lads. Talk to you later.